Hey, what's up, y'all? It's your girl T by the Barber, and welcome back to another episode of The Fade on the Faded Room. I apologize for being gone for so long, but now I'm back, and here we are with another fade. So, as you guys can see, got a client here, got a wave on top, and just like the sides faded. So, we're gonna go in and bald out our first guideline. We're gonna make our way all the way around the head, and then we're gonna move into our next step of this actual fade. As you guys can see, we have a client here that has a very uniform here. So you brush it a lot and it really does stay in place. So it's way easier for you to blend this type of hair. Next, we're going to go into our next step. This is our clipper. And as you can, guys can see, this, this lever is all the way close. And we're barely going up, tapping at that corner. And like I've stated in all my other videos, this little part that I always do in my fade, it does play a part later on in the fade at the end. Here we are, we're gonna go into our next step with our lever all the way open and create our next guideline. And we're gonna make sure this guideline runs all the way throughout the whole round of the head. As you guys can tell in this video, it's gonna be a little bit faster and it's just so we could get through the video just so I could give you guys more content with less time. So you guys can see the whole process, but also with the less time of it. And here we are on the other side, just doing the same thing that we did on that right side, creating that guideline about a half an inch. Sometimes I go a little higher, make my guideline a little wider. Sometimes I'm, I keep it a little smaller. It all depends on the size of the head and the type of haircut that we're looking for. Here we are, we're going in with our lever halfway closed and blending out that guideline that we just created. And like I said, it all depends on the type of haircut. For his haircut, we're going to do something that's high but also tight. So we want that transitional look, but it's also going to be very tight at the top. And you guys are going to see what I mean at the end of this haircut. We're going to leave a darker thing at the top of the hair where the waves end but also give it that look of faded all the way from the bottom from our first guideline all the way up to the top. And here we are, we're just doing the same thing, like I said, just blending out that area with our with our clipper halfway closed. I think this type of fading is such a trusting type of way of fade because you really don't see everything at the start. You're here, it just looks bald all the way up. These are just steps that you're gonna do that you're gonna have to trust in that you're gonna get that end result when you're done with this haircut. And that's why I said it's a trusting haircut. And here we are with the number one guard. We're just going in, creating that next guideline. You're gonna, this guy's gonna see it's all the way closed for this part, all the way closed, creating that guideline. And then we're gonna knock that out, coming back with the half. Here first though, we're gonna take the hair down, the top of the hair down to the desired line, which is the one that we just used. And this client, as you guys can see, his wave pattern changes about one, two, three, about four times, honestly, um, throughout this whole, throughout his whole head. So you guys are going to see me brushing, cutting his waves at a certain angle. At the front of his head, he has a, a little part on his right side by where his lineup is that's just kind of like swished to the right. So, you know, little things like that, making sure you don't cut it. But also make sure you keep brushing and make sure the hair lays in place while you could go ahead and continue your fade. And here we are with the half. We're coming back, coming back to the half to knock out that one all the way close that we just created. And we're just going to tap at it. Tap at that little angle, that little line that, that we created there and just knock that part out. Later on, if we don't knock the whole line out, we could go back and always detail that area, you guys. So... You know, it's not a big issue if you don't knock it out in the first try. Just gonna work our way around the head and make sure this area is as blended as we could get it. We're just gonna keep working that area and making sure it's as blended, like I said, as blended as we can. Now we're gonna go back in with our number one all the way open. And since we're coming to the top of our fade and the, the length of our top is a number one, that number one all the way open is kind of blending that transition now. And we're just going to have to do a lot of work here to still keep that dark theme at the top, but also making sure it looks blended from the top all the way into our fade. And that's what, just what we're doing here, you guys. Just opening it up, 
and when we go back and try to take out that line that we're creating right now we're going to go halfway and just blend that area out you could also put a one and a half on this clipper and go in and knock out that dark line at the top and if you want just a complete blend to the top I've done that before and this is just something different that he wanted this time that he came in just like how he wanted he's gonna want something different with his beard this time for his job so it all depends I've done it where that dark line is not there at the top and it's just blended all the way out or I keep it here that was the number two all the way uh, open just to blend that little area a little bit because it was a little bit darker than the rest of the head and here we are we're just going in with the number one again and this is just all the way open just to blend that area out. we're just working on this area right now um, because we're not pretty much not going to do anything more to this fade but to detail it later on so we're just naturally working that area and you guys can see in the back there my clipper is at the at our right uh, angle we're just tilting it to the right because that's the way the hair pattern grows in that area and we don't want to go straight up and cut into the waves so we're gonna go with the angle of the waves and here we go to the beard like I said he usually keeps it really high but for his job he kind of tried he wants to hide it because he's not supposed to have one but he also does not want to be bald um, from the face at the face so we're gonna make sure we take his beard down as low as we can to like the mask level where the mask just kind of hides it a little bit um, and blend that area as you can see most of my clients I'll tell you guys most of my clients fall asleep in the chair a lot of people probably think that is a bad thing but I could tell they're relaxed a lot of my clients come in and they're either after work or they're going to work and it's really early and they're really tired so I try to create an environment where it's soothing and where they can feel relaxed if they're going to work or if they're ending their day they, they feel really really relaxed and I think of it as a compliment because if you trust me enough to fall asleep and you know throughout your whole haircut I feel like that's another level of trust some people might say you know keep your head up and stuff like that but I found ways to work around it so it's not a very big issue and like I said the most important thing is making sure your clients are, co are co uh, comfortable in your chair and they're relaxed and this is another thing that I add to it because I've noticed I've had my client consultation and they like things that relax them throughout the time because like I said they either had a hard day they're going to work and they just want to relax before or after work so make sure you guys create an environment where it's very very relaxing some people might think that this step is unnecessary but I found that is very very necessary for those people who want to relax and as you can tell this guy right here he is completely gone and relax and I get to do what I need to do in his head while he's relaxed I get to line him up I get to line his beard up and he just gets to sit there and relax and you know just enjoy that time for the rest of this service and that is something you guys should really try to give to your client give them a nice relaxing soothing environment and here we are we're just lining up our vertical bars and lining up our beard those are the, the four things that we're gonna do while he's laying down that we can do while he's laying down uh, where we don't really have to keep them, you know, wake them up or anything like that as of yet and have them enjoy those extra few minutes of time that he gets to relax until his life, you know, comes back and he has to deal with all the stuff he got to deal with when he gets up. And also for those people who are short, this, <laughs> this is from all my short people. For me, because I have trouble accessing underneath their beard or a lot of my clients don't like lifting up their head too high. I pretty much take advantage of when they're laying down and clean up that area here we're gonna we already bring our client up and as you can tell look at him he's looking all nice clean and refreshed and we're gonna go in and create and finish our lineup we already created our vertical bar so we're just making sure that horizontal bar matches the both sides we're just gonna go all the way straight across and as you guys can see on this right hand side it's just the way his hair forms that that little area that little patch is there and he likes a natural hairline he does not like enhancements or anything like that because he does have a full hairline it's just that little patch right there so we just try to keep it nice clean crisp and lined up as we can give him you know give the client what he wants but also make sure we try to do our best job that we can with this haircut and as you guys can see 
this is a really really nice crisp lineup that we've had we're gonna go back in and detail out this haircut that is the uh, gonna be about the last step of this haircut and we're just pretty much trying to blend this as much as we can for the last step and you guys can see this we keep that dark theme at the top where the waves end but we also have that such a blended transition at the bottom like I said this is also a, a very natural hairline haircut so there's no enhancements or anything like that so we could also still see our vertical bars even though we have those balded spots I hope you guys enjoy this haircut so far and this right here is one of the ending look of this haircut. As you guys can see we try to blend it as much as we can, make sure we clean up all the strands, straight hair that's on top of his waves and making sure his wave pop at the end of this haircut. As you guys can see I'm going to run the clipper across and making sure I get all of that straight. I hope you guys enjoy this video and like I said, it's your girl T Fire the Barber y'all and I appreciate y'all tuning back in with me on the Faded Room and there's so many more videos to come. I'm back y'all. It's your girl T Fire the Barber and catch y'all on the next phase.